Hello and thank you for watching Edupedia World Videos. We've already covered in the demo in the previous video how to exactly create and view the customer master data records. And we went on to see how exactly is an invoice parked and then posted in SAP. Now let's check how this invoice looks like in the line item report and how do we exactly post the incoming payments? Let's go back to SAP now. Within SAP, under accounting, there will be an option for financial accounting and then accounts receivable. And over here, you can check the line item report FBL5N, which we discussed earlier. If you double click on this, you enter the customer account number, the company code number, and you select the open items because you want to see the invoices which are posted but not yet paid for. And then you can click on the execute button. Once we do this, we can see that the documents which are posted in October and January are all on this report. In our previous video, we saw how to create this document and we also posted it in the system. As of now, you see that this is not due, which is why the symbol is in orange color. The others from October are due. You can double click on the line item over here to see the document which we had created. If you click on this mountain icon, you will see the document line items. For example, debit the customer and credit the income account. You can see the GL account number over here and you can see the amount of 123 euros. If you double click on this line item of the customer, you will see that what are the terms of payment. For example, in this case, if the customer is paying within 10 days of the invoice, the customer will get a discount of 5%. So let's calculate that. What is 5% of 123? It will be 123 into 5%. That's 6.15 euros. This means if the customer makes a payment within 10 days, they will get a discount of 6.15 euros. So what's 123 minus 6.15? So they need to make a payment of 116.85 if they want to avail a discount within 10 days. Let's go back to our customer line item report. This report can be enhanced by selecting the change layout button. For example, you can view a few more columns which are there on the right and move them on the left and you will get more details in your report. For example, document status, posting key, fiscal year, account type, net due date, etc. Now let's try to get these on the left side. As you see, they have moved here and let's click on the enter button. As you see over here, it will give you details like posting key, net due date, the year in which we have posted this document, and the type of account, D means it's a customer. So as you see, the due date is actually the 11th of January 2016, which means if the customer is paying before that, then they will get a discount of 5%. Let's keep this page open for now and let's click on the new session button. For posting incoming payments, there are two options. One is automatic payments, which means transaction F110, which we have already covered in the accounts payable demo. So in this case, we will try to post an incoming payment manually. This is to show you the difference of how the postings are done in SAP system. For making manual payments in accounts receivable, the transaction code is F-28. 
and this is how you need to drill down if you want to go via the tree. Accounting, financial accounting, accounts receivable, document entry, incoming payments. If you double click on that, there will be a window over here which will ask for some details which are mandatory. For example, the document date, the bank account number, amount and the customer account number. These are all mandatory in nature. So let's say that the customer is making a payment on the 1st of January, which is well before the actual due date. And the bank account number, the GL account of the bank of the organization is this. As we saw in the calculation, if the customer makes a payment of 116.85 before the due date, then that's okay because they are going to get that discount. So let's enter this amount over here. And let's enter the customer's account number, which is 404084. If you have forgotten it, I'll go to the previous line item report. And as you see over here, this is our customer account. So we've entered the document date, we've entered the bank account, and we've entered the amount. And we've also entered the account of the customer. Let's click on the process open items button. As we have already posted the invoice, which is 180001, on the 1st of January, we do not want to look into the first three invoices which were posted earlier for this customer. We only want to look into this example where the document date when the invoice was posted was 1st January. So if there are items which are in blue, this means these items are activated. To deactivate these items, just double click on them and they will turn into black. So we are not interested in making any payments for this line item as of now. Also the second line item, if I double click, it becomes black. And the third one, if I double click, it becomes black. Now let's see on the right hand side. What's happening here is it's automatically calculating a cash discount of 5% because we are making a payment before the due date sorry we are receiving a payment before the due date from the customer and 5% of 123 is automatically calculated here as 6.15 as you see the invoice amount was 123 and the discount is 6.15 which means the amount which we have entered as 116.85 is just perfect there is no amount which is now a balance which is why you will see the amount of zero over here if this amount is not zero then it is difficult to post the payment hence always make sure that whatever amount you enter on the front screen will eventually make this as zero now that this is zero we are able to post it before posting if we require you can simulate which will show you how exactly will your postings look like. This will not post it in the system. This will only show you a dummy GL account entry, which you can see how it will look like in the system. So I've clicked on simulate and now you will see it looks like this. Debit your bank account with 116.85 debit your customer discount which you are giving the customer and credit the customer account. As you know we had earlier debited the customer when we had conducted the sale. So now we are crediting the customer because they are settling the account by making a payment. If this all looks correct then you can click on the post button or the save button. This will post the incoming payment document in the system. As you see on the status bar on the bottom, 
It says the document was posted in company code 1000. Now let's go and check this incoming payment document. You can click on document and then on display. So as you saw in the simulation earlier, it looks exactly the same. The bank account and the discount account are debited, whereas the customer account is credited. So this will give you an idea of how exactly a payment looks like. Now let's jump back to our line item report, which we saw earlier. If you remember, we had seen over here the document number ending with 1, the amount of 123, it said not due, but it was in red because the payment was not made yet. If I now click on list and refresh, the report will get refreshed and you will see that this line will vanish because the payment is now made, so it is no more an open item. So let's click on refresh. And as you see, the amount of 123, the line is completely gone. Let's go back and click on all items which are posted on 1st of January. Let's see what are the items we get to see here. As you see, this was the invoice which we posted. So it's 123. And the document type is DR because it's an invoice. And this line is the payment which we posted. And the document type is DZ. And you can also see the clearing document number is updated for this invoice document. Clearing document is nothing but a payment document number in this case. So we have now covered how exactly is an invoice posted and how exactly is an incoming payment posted and once the incoming payment is posted we've seen that the red items which are open items are now converted into clear items which is now in green color hence you will not see this as an opening balance anymore against the customer Going back to the presentation, so we have now covered these all transactions, which is parking an invoice and posting the invoice, viewing the line items with FBL 5N, and then finally also the incoming payments. As a summary, I hope you have now understood how does SAP Accounts Receivable as a module look like. The concept and the processes in this area, we have covered the master data maintenance, what are the different document types, the revenue posting, which means the invoice posting. We've also seen how incoming payments look like, how does special GL transaction work, and we saw how the line item report looks like for the customer. So this should give you a good understanding of the accounts receivable module. We will look forward to the next SAP videos where we will cover further finance and controlling sub modules. Thank you very much for watching Edupedia World videos.